Hey guys, here we are, we're going to do another test, the walkie test. We got electrical stud brackets and uh, we're going to use a bit of plasterboard over it. I'll knock them in and we'll see how this tool goes in cutting the holes out when I do the cutouts later in the job. Whether this is more suitable for me or the good old Giprox saw. Um, which I normally use to cut it out so again bear in mind this is 20 plus year experience doing by hand and these are brand spanking new tools that we've never even trialed or tested so it's gonna be a little bit uh, tricky or getting used to or learning on the job so we'll just screw this plasterboard on and Try these different techniques. So, what we usually do. metal detector, stud finder or bracket finder and we usually find the holes like this, that's what we start off with so ready to cut now we'll time it Giprox saw here we go That's it, that's job finished with the Giprox saw. Now it's time to get the Milwaukee the smaller cutout tool. And there is the difference. The top one is Giprox saw and the bottom one is our cutting tool. <laughs> oh, well, you won't see that from the other angle. This one ended up 40 seconds. Yeah. Oh, well, there you have it. You just saw we did a test manually with the Giprox saw with experience. I know it's a little bit flimsy, hard to cut on a piece like that, not fastened between the two studs. We did the little cutting tool which is a M12 type battery and the last one was with the M18 type battery, the bigger tool. And I have to say that I'm mostly impressed with this M12 one. It just sounds better. This one sounds a little bit aggressive, very aggressive. I think it's a bit too big for this type of job. 
Um, this one did good, manual, about 30 something seconds. Um, this one was way faster, so about probably there's about 10 to 15 seconds saving per hole. And this one did as quick as manual, maybe, I don't know, there's other factors because first time use. Uh, over time I guess you'll become an expert and you'll um, just do it way faster than what you did first time but um, this little tool is impressive so I think this one's the winner this one takes the if I was to choose personally um, I'll give this one a gold I'd, I'd give the Jiprox or silver over this one <laughs> so no I'm not biased but between these two, I reckon the M12 wins the gold. Alright, I hope you liked that little video and um, thanks for watching. Here we are now cutting plastic. This tool, look, uh, it's try first on uh, high speed just to show how it melts the plastic, and um, and then on a lower speed how it doesn't melt. All right, do another one next to it now with lower speed. And um, these things are amazing. Like if you're working on the car, dashes, adding extra switches, or LED bars, or lockers, or whatever switch you need inside, it just cuts perfect. Look at that finish. Clean as. This one's a little bit rough, but this one, clean as. It's got to tidy it up a little bit and um, might just fit the switch bang off you go that's we just did that test on a torch <laughs> <laughs> that we don't need and um, yeah good and here is a wheel grinding wheel that comes with a set on this tool and we want to give that a test on steel how it cuts for those this is good for those hard to reach places where you can't cut or get close to with a normal grinding wheel so maximum what maximum eh? That's an impressive little tool. Where's the new disc so I can compare how much was used? Looks like a fair bit um, compared to brand new. The discs, this is so fast, it spins at, um, so the maximum is 37,000 RPM. Are you serious? That's fast. It's really, really fast. And there's the so that's how much we used already. Wow. It's quick. Alright, but it's actually pretty good. And see when it goes even smaller, so you can get to those places easier even more. Anyway, good stuff. Good little tool.
we call 